Hi guys, hopefully you're starting to make some progress in thinking about the nature of the concept um, that you're actually working with. Um, separate to this uh, video, you'll actually have another video which runs through the actual readings uh, which have been emailed up and you can start to make some sense about how they may help you to make some sort of um, sense of how your idea is likely to be evaluated and debated and the type of questions that we're going to be asking you about you know the likely success that your idea may or may not have depending on the nature of your resource base um, so I'm looking forward to seeing you on the 25th I will actually be in Launceston on the 18th which is the first day before we have a leadership award which starts in Launceston then and so it is possible um, that I could be there and I'll, I'll confirm this in the next couple of days uh, around four o'clock to five o'clock on that Thursday afternoon. So if that could work for any of you and you want to come along and have a chat in the, in the interim, then by all means, let's do that. Otherwise, you know, let me know um, what's the, the best other way to sort of uh, to get in touch and, uh, and have a, a chat. Uh, the group sense making is already online, so I'd encourage you to um, get in and have a look at the situation statement there and see if you can make some sense of uh, of what that's about and hopefully your groups set up online you should be starting to make some communication between each other as to what your initial idea is going to be I don't expect you to come along on the 25th and actually have this fully worked idea that's absolutely perfect what I'm really looking for you to bring along on the 25th is this concept this is the type of thing that we're looking at doing we'd like to do it in this way or in that way and then we can start to pull it apart and actually make some sense of it uh, and keep that thing moving forward um, so the key things for the moment is that you, you have got an idea, a concept that's yours as an individual, that you're thinking about, about how might you actually move this thing forward. Have a look at the, the other, DV, the other uh, video which is related to the readings and then you can start to make some sense. Okay, I get this now where yeah, I can see how this idea comes into play and how I need to account for this and account for that, all right? Um, so that you're familiar with the nature of those readings when you come along on the 25th. You'll become more understanding of how important those readings are as the semester goes on because it, it'll be from the perspectives that are contained within those readings that we're going to be critiquing your idea and pulling them apart and then allowing you to put them back together with, as your understanding of the readings increases. So let's just see how that process um, sort of um, unfolds. Uh, it is possible that you could be feeling a bit apprehensive and thinking, gosh, I really don't know what it is I'm doing here or this doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Uh, my advice to you is just to go with the flow. Think about what you have, you know, who do you, who do you know, what do you know, and what resources can you get access to. That's the very starting point for what it is you're attempting to, you know, conceive and, and project to the guys here. You know, back yourself as far as your understanding of what it actually is. Put that forward and let's see where we get to. The actual transition from your first presentation to where you move to thereafter, that's an unknown. I don't know where you're going to go, you don't know. And so you just have to sort of come along with that open mind. Look, I've got this idea, you know, I feel quite passionate about it, I'm interested in it, I think it'd be cool if this sort of thing happened. And just accept that the nature of your idea is going to get bent around and turned around and headed in a different direction because this, the feedback that you're going to be getting is what we're really trying to, to get you guys to work through. So, uh, and let me get the book. So what I'm looking for you to do is I'm looking for you to have put this book to action. Um, so it'll be in your bookshop, so go along. If it's not in the bookshop, then make sure they send it up straight up from Hobart because there's certainly plenty of copies in Hobart. But you've got the eight stages of this process, and what I'm looking for you to do is to actually work your idea through um, the actual stages so that when we sit down, you can say, well, I've found some, some holes here. You know, there's some issues to do with risk, you know, and uh, there's some issues to do with, you know, how my idea is actually reliant upon other forms of technology uh, or the actual resource profile that I've got. It's got some de deficiencies in it. So I'm looking for you just to keep working your way through there and being able to present to me and say, well, you know what? I actually think the commercial potential commerciability of this idea is looking pretty good, you know, or it's actually not. And if it's not, are we have we got things that we can address 
and come up with strategies and contingencies to try and eliminate those issues, or are we actually dealing with an idea that needs to be replaced early in the piece? Because the, the, the nature of the flaws are fatal and we just simply can't get around them. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, this is a, quite a good skill to be able to start to make some really useful judgments about ideas. It's important that when we get an idea that we can move it from here to here and at some point we may have to say, mm, at this point, you know what, I don't think we need to keep going. I think we need to actually just ditch this thing and get another idea because we just simply can't get the technology uh, or we will be waiting too long or consumer um, consumer needs haven't quite arrived at this level to support the nature of this business yet. Okay, So all in all, don't panic as far as the extent to which you think, oh my God, I really want you to operate in that space of not really being 100% sure. You know, you're not going to get slayed and, you know, set upon when you come into the classroom on the 25th. The whole point of the 25th is to help you through this process of trying to make sense of things and to help you find the direction forward. All right? So we're not just going to give you that direction to say, here's the process. We really want you to sort of work your way through it. So have a look at the other, uh, the other video which relates to the actual nature of the readings. Uh, hopefully that's useful for you. And um, yeah, uh, any questions, queries, just give me a tingle. Cheers.